Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Mommyhood and welcome to our backyard update. It is uh, August 2021 summer. Um, and as you know, we've grown. If you've watched our previous videos, you, you know that we've grown heirloom varieties of cucumbers, tomatoes, and uh, melons and watermelons. And we've got some grapes and pears uh, as well in our uh, backyard and we've got corn and sunflower and I'll take you on and on a tour on an update tour of all of these so this is our dragon and cucumber uh, unfortunately this uh, plant got powdered mildew and then it kind of is still producing fruit which is very good but it has been difficult for the leaves then we've got the gherkin, West Indian burr gherkin over here. This is a cucumber variety. This is the fruit uh, which we will just harvest. So now, um, dragon egg, West Indian burr gherkins. These are uh, these have been producing a lot of fruit, and they've been doing very well. Um, this is um, bell pepper, sweet pepper. Uh, you can see they've turned. They started turning orange. We've got uh, two very orange ones and. They're going to be harvested right now and then we've got one that's turning orange then we've got this uh, lemon cucumber right here unfortunately right now there is no fruit this is our blue cream now i want to see i want to show you once again that they are um, this beautiful dark deep blue color violet color then they become when they ripen they turn this beautiful yellow and they're very sweet and you can see most of them they keep getting ready so we've been having har like we've been harvesting pretty much every other day and um, things have been very well uh, with uh, production of fruit this is pepper lesia now the difference between a pepper lesia and other peppers is that the do you see the point on the bottom of this this is a pepper lesia it will be it is an heirloom variety pep sweet pepper and it will turn purple um, compared to these for example these are two plants. One of them is yellow sweet pepper and the other one is red sweet pepper. And you see the bottom, they're more roundish. And then we have red sweet cherry and you can see there's lots of them ready. And I want you to, I want you to see white Thomasol. Look at the size and look at the production on this plant look at so many like a, there's a like huge cluster of white tomasols and these are all ready these ones are soft and ready they're going to be harvested as well uh, they turn yellow so this is when it's raw the green one and this is and it's got beautiful curvature and when it turns ripe it turns yellowish and it's big and it's really good for cooking gravies then we've got another one this one had been eaten by cutworm but then it grew again this is chiroki do you see the size of them and the clusters of them? This is heirloom tomato variety Cherokee. This is really good. The skin, when it's ripe, the skin just literally peels off and you've just got the pulp. And um, there's lemon cucumbers growing there, the small buds. And there's one right there. It's forming. So, um, and then this is another bell pepper which has not changed color yet but you can see that this is not pepper lesia because it's roundish at the bottom these are berry crazies they turn deep yellow as well when they're ready they're cherry tomatoes and they are very sweet as well they're like a sweet treat and then we've got our red sweet cherry we have to fix the fallen tomato plant the yellow pear shaped these are also um, ready for harvest the yellow ones they turn a beautiful deep yellow then you can see the grapes they have not changed color yet there are two wines there's one right there and one right here one of them is red and one of them is black and hopefully by the end of august or towards september they'll start changing color and they'll be ready for picking soon after this is our white grape tomato uh, white uh, sorry uh, grapes and uh, you can see that they have started changing color and the shape is obviously different compared to those. Those are more round. These are a grape shaped oval. The pears have grown in size. 
and the, this is our golden paisales. A lot of fruit has been formed, not ready yet for picking. The, the wrappers will turn brown with yellow round fruit inside. These are our charentes. They're turning color as well, if you can see. This is gone a little fluorescent. This is banana melon. Charente is right here, Charente is right there. The leaves have unfortunately also got powdered mildew, so the disease is spreading, unfortunately. But we've got a lot of banana melons right here. There's one there. There's a really big one right there. And um, there's Tommy apple right here. Another one of our West Indian bird gherkin. The leaf of this is very uh, different and very pretty. And uh, do you see the gherkin right there? It's a very spiky cucumber. You have to peel the skin ideally. It's got a lot of seeds as well. But if you pick it up at the right size, it's very nice. These are our sugar babies. They're about ready too. I think that one is pretty much almost ready for harvest. But we'll see. Then we have our sunflowers that have really grown tall and our corn. Here we are on the tomato side. Now you can see Thomasols again here. So such a big cluster. And the ones that are ready for harvest are the yellow ones. These are very, um, they're not bland at all, but they're really good for cooking. And there's Cherokee right there. There's a cluster over there that hasn't changed color yet. There's Thomas all right at the back. And then there's a really big Cherokee right here. That's like really big. And then we've got Berry Crazy right at the back. Also yeah. a lot of them ready for harvest. And then we've got Blue Creams. Yeah, we have Blue Creams. Um, and we've got um, them changing color. Um, that are turning yellow. And then these are our Whole Foods tomatoes that we had gotten and grown. These are turning yellow too. This is ready for harvest. Not yet, actually. Quite firm to the touch. We've got more berry crazy right here. And then red sweet cherry. And we've got yellow pear shaped and white tomasols going. Um, I don't see any ripe ones right now. Oh, there's one at the back. We are back at the sunflowers and the corn. Um, I wanted you to see the uh, flower of the corn forming. Not quite sure what it's called, but basically for pollination. And uh, San Marcenos, that our neighbor gifted us. And Cherokee's right there. Blue Cream's right here and yellow pear shaped right there and well even this tomato plant has fallen and needs some taking care of so we'll just look into that right now and harvest them hopefully i'll share a picture at the end of the video of the harvest take care thank you for watching thank you for staying tuned have a great summer bye